How's it going guys? Welcome to my FIFA 23 starter team. Now this is obviously predicted as FIFA 23 is not out yet, but these are the players I assume are going to be cheap and good to start off with. The first striker that I will be putting in this team is Darwin Nunez. Uh, he has decent stats for now, and this was back when EA had no idea who the fuck he was. Uh, so, yeah. 84 pace already. I'm assuming his pace and shooting will be more, a bit more dribbling, a bit more passing. He's going to be a good starter card. Uh, the other striker, alongside Mr. Darwin Nunez, is actually going to be a recently confirmed to Newcastle transfer. Your boy... Alexander Isaac very exciting obviously very good gold card as it is uh, I'm assuming it'll only get better six foot four as well uh, on the left mid I will be doing a 442 formation for this video and on the left now this he's probably gonna be the most expensive player so keep that in mind you might have to look for another option on the first couple days of the game but Gucci Max, always very fast, very good at dribbling. Uh, he's not great at shooting though, which is a downside, but that's why we've got two strikers. Uh, and on the other side, there were plenty of options. Plenty of options I could choose from, but the one I went with is actually going to be a green link to Mr. Alexander Isaac next year. And that is Kulusevski. The ginger from Sweden, as I said before, same with most of these players. I can only predict uh, a few more rating, a few more of every stat. Yeah, he's, he's going to be a good card next year, that's for sure. Well, next month, really. Uh, moving on to the midfield. This is where it gets tricky because there were lots of options. So I've gone for a more attacking midfield and a more defensive midfield. So the attacking midfielder is going to be... Rodrigo, uh, always a good starter player for the Premier League. He is going to be good. He's got good pace already. Uh, and then the defensive midfielder is Onyeka. Uh, 87 pace as a CDM is very, very nice. And I can't see that changing too much, if I'm being perfectly honest. On to the left back, a card that I think will be incredibly good in FIFA 23. Because he is already quick, and he just gives me good FIFA vibes. And that is your boy, Malasia. Already has 81 pace. He's quite all-rounded in a sense that uh, his dribbling defense and physical is, you know, it, for a 77 rated left back, you can't really complain. He'll have better pace next year. All of those stats will be better. That passing will also probably be better. So yeah, Malasia, I think, will be quite nice. And next to him, I also think that Mr. Lissandro Martinez will be quite a tasty option. Now, he is quite an all-rounded uh, defender, I guess. I'm assuming that pace is going to be bumped up a fair bit. Uh, he is 5'10", but... That doesn't really matter in FIFA too much. You'd rather have a fast center back than a, a really, really tall center back. So I think Martinez is going to be a beast. As is the main man next to him, Saliba. Similar sort of card, but I can only predict more pace, just better all-round stats. And he's six foot four, so he makes up for the lost height in Lissandro Martinez. And then the right back, I'm not too sure what this card's gonna look like in FIFA 23. This is really the only card that I can't predict, but I think EA could boost him a good amount. And if they do, we're going way down the list now, boys. Here he is, D. Jed Spence. Very tricky first name to pronounce, but 80 pace already as a silver card. I wouldn't be surprised if this man is a 75 rated. Or maybe he's a silver, but he's high 70s. 
I wouldn't be surprised. And if so, what a card, bro. What a card. Six foot, 80 pace as a 65 rated silver card. You're looking at a very nice card indeed. And then to finish the team off is going to have to be everyone's starter keeper this year, Ariola. There's always one Premier League goalkeeper in FIFA that is just sick. Uh, it, it was Nick Pope for a while. Uh, it, it, this year, well, in FIFA 22, it was Ariola. So I can only predict he's going to be sick again. But it could be another. It could be another uh, goalkeeper. You never know. But I would say Ariola's a fairly safe bet this year. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. If this was helpful, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.